Hello, welcome to EasyLink's Create Service Team Rules for Commissions. This tutorial is intended for admins at an agency that are new to EasyLink's commissions. The most important part of the commission setup process is to create the service team rules. Special user permission is required to create commission rules. So if you don't have the features outlined in this video, contact support at easylinks.com for setup. Here's a quick outline of the workflow we're going to cover in this tutorial. First, review how your agency pays commissions. Then double check your agency's service team, create a catch-all rule, create rules to pay new versus renewal terms at different rates, and put rules in the correct order. Now let's get started. First, decide how your agency should pay commissions in EasyLinks. There are two ways to set up your rules in EasyLinks, rules created to pay at the applicant level or the policy level. Determine which method you should use and think about how your agency pays commissions for a customer with multiple policies. Is one person paid commissions for all the customer's policies? If so, you'll create commission rules that pay at the applicant level based on the assigned to user. Or are different producers paid commission on the same applicant with different policies? If this is how your agency operates, then you'll create rules that pay at the policy level based on the policy producer code. Some agencies may even use a combination of these rules, which is what we'll show you today. Make a note of which method you'll use because we'll need this information later. Before creating commission rules, your agency service team must already be set up in EasyLinks. To check if this has already been done, hover over the policy management icon in the gray taskbar and select Manage Service Team. Everyone who has paid commissions and any non-commissioned people that you want to track on reports, such as CSRs, should be listed on the service team set up here. If this task still needs to be done, refer to the Create the Service Team for Commissions video for instructions. Now it's time to create the commission rules for each service team member. Hover over the Policy Management icon again, but this time select Service Team Rules. Next, click Add New Rule here at the upper right. The first rule that you need to create is a catch-all rule to catch any policies that don't match one of our more specific rules. This rule is easy, as you'll simply leave all of the filters as is and save rule. Notice the rule has been added here and shows that the agency will be paid 100% of the commission. Next, we'll create rules to pay new and renewal terms at different rates. Click Add New Rule, and this time we'll take a closer look at all the fields. Notice there are two sections. The Match Criteria area is used to identify a specific type of policy, and the Pay Producer section provides the payment instructions. Let's review the Match Criteria section first. Rule order is very important, but we'll set the order after all the rules are created, so for now ignore this field. The new slash renewal field refers to the policy term. New is the first term of a policy and renewal is every subsequent term after. Therefore, to pay commissions during the first term at one rate and all subsequent terms at another, you should create two rules for every service team member who has paid commissions. Create one rule with this field set to new and the second rule set to renewal. We'll start with new. For this type of rule, leave the transaction type, line of business, state, master company, and lead source fields each set to all. But if you need to create other more specific rules, you can use any combination of these fields to find specific policy types. Now it's time to refer to the note you made at the beginning of this video. Will your agency create commission rules to pay at the applicant level by using the assigned to field or at the policy level by using the policy producer code? Whichever it is, always select Specified here for your method. Then for this option, enter the agent's three-digit producer code, the one you created when adding the agent to the service team. Or for this option, select the agent's name by clicking the People icon to the right. Now the Match Criteria section is complete, so this rule will identify all first-term policies for all applicants assigned to this agent, then pay according to the instructions we are about to create below. Next, let's take a look at the fields in the Pay Producer section. Notice that the agency is currently paid 100% of the commission, but this is about to change as soon as you select a payee. From the payee list, always select Service Team, and then select the person to be paid commission. Set the percentage that this person should receive of the agency commission and click Add Payee. If your agent gets paid commission based off of the written premium percentage or just a flat fee, then make the selection here. In my example, you can see that the agent is now added to the payee list. She will receive 40% of the agency commission and the agency's portion has been automatically adjusted to the remaining 60%. 
Normally, you'll save the rule at this point, but if desired, you can add other service team members to be paid too. Also, if you'd like to track any non-commissioned service team members on reports, such as a CSR, add them here with a zero commission percentage. When done, click Save Rule. It is time to create the second rule for the service team member, to pay renewal terms at a different rate. All the settings are the same, except at policy term, it is set as renewal, and the renewal commission is set to 25%. Click to Save Rule. Remember you must create these two rules for every commissioned service team member that you pay different rates for new versus renewal business. Now consider any special ways that your agency pays commissions and add rules accordingly. One example relates to rewrite policies. When a customer cancels a policy, then buys a new policy for the same line of business with a new carrier, it is considered a rewrite policy. Although it's a new policy, the agent is usually paid at a renewal or rewrite rate. Therefore, a commission rule must be created to pay the commission accurately. To do this, create a third rewrite rule for every service team member. Make sure to set the fields the same as we did previously, except at policy term, select all, and at transaction, select rewrite. Then set the rewrite commission rate here. Lastly, after you have added all commission rules, it's time to put them in order. This is a very important step for paying commissions accurately. Policy transactions run through commission rules in order, from the first and most specific rule down to the last catch-all rule until a rules policy match criteria is found. Commission is then paid according to the rules payment instructions. Use these up and down arrows to reorder the rules as follows. First, all rules to match by producer code, then all rules to match by assigned to user, and lastly, the catch-all rule. Once you have your rules ordered, if you need to edit or delete any, you have those options to the right by selecting the blue actions link. Moving forward, it is the agency admin's ongoing responsibility to update the service team and rules as changes occur in the agency that affects commissions. Next, watch our tutorial about how to apply commission rules to applicants or policies, as this is another very important step required to pay agency commissions accurately. This concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.